there's a place called <clears throat> Oververse, and it's uh, at the center of everything. And I think that how it started was uh, the center of everything attracted energy. And uh, uh, myself, you, um, everybody you know is uh, a part of that energy. And the, the people that we are have uh, a kind of curiosity and a kind of ability, ability to affect matter. As a matter of fact, from everywhere we come, uh, we have uh, tales and legends of uh, mind over matter. And uh, it only once, once we reach our final form, is only that become reality. And then, you know, our curiosity and our desire uh, to expand and explore began to affect the, the regular verse until uh, everything, all matters, you know it, became an energy collector, which brought everything to the center, which brought things to the oververse. And so, when it was just us, soon it became everything that had a mind and thought and felt. And it sounds like a trap, you know, that you would lose your form and uh, your essence, who you are, uh, what you were, um, would find its way to the Oververse. But it really actually seems like uh, the way out of the trap. I'll tell you why. Um, once you're in the Oververse, you uh, are a part of everything. And that doesn't mean everything's answered, but it doesn't mean all the answers, or uh, most of the answers, are there. And the answers that aren't fully realized yet are being explored by everything that's ever thought. Anyway, I didn't, uh, I didn't want to make this video so I could talk to you about the Oververse. I wanted to talk about caves. When, uh, when Earth was first uh, discovered, being on the outer reach of things, the, uh, the thing to do back then was, see, we could, we could share information and knowledge and experience um, with all sorts of creatures. We couldn't become them. They couldn't become us. Uh, there's lots of talk about that, but it's, uh, it's never been proven to happen. But the idea was that we could come down here to this planet and uh, live like them, like we'd already kind of experienced their life through their minds. But what if we tried to do it ourselves? And so some of us started separating from the rest. And uh, it was scary and exhilarating and wonderful. And uh, I remember it uh, because I remember living in a cave. And it provided all sorts of benefits and drawbacks, like the cave began to smell like you and animals wanted to, you know, get, you know, bite you. They wanted to eat you. And uh, so, uh, yeah, there was pluses and minuses, but I loved it. And uh, I came back, and lots of people did, and more and more people did, because as we came back, like you could live our lives from our memories when we arrived back in the Oververse. But that wasn't, it's not good enough. I mean, it's not doing it. I mean, that's why all the knowledge in the universe isn't going to be enough ever. So there's always going to be experience. So more and more of us started coming, and uh, the, my cave experience was attractive to many. Um, and some uh, improved upon that. And that kept coming, and that kept coming, and now I come back. And we're no longer here to uh, try to re re relive the lives of animals. And that's fair enough. But now being surrounded by freeways and cities and uh, jobs and wars and poverty and excess, it makes me miss the cave.